Hi, I'm Paul from Tradco. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a mortise lock in a timber door. We provide four different types of mortise locks. Three lever, five lever, privacy and euro. For a detailed overview of these lock types, please head to our website. The steps in this video can be applied to all four styles. Our five lever locks have an anti-pit curtain, which makes it harder to access the working components in the lock once fitted inside your door. Both our five lever and euro locks also have reinforced steel pins through the locking bolt. Before we begin, please make sure you have downloaded and printed the appropriate template from our website. Always make sure that your template has printed to scale by using a ruler to check the measurements. For this project, you will need the following equipment. Your Tradco mortise lock, faceplate and screws, the template, tape measure and pencil, power drill, a selection of spade and timber drill bits, some tape, an adjustable carpenter's square, a screwdriver, some chisels, hammer, a Stanley knife, and wedges. To begin, place the wedge under the end of the door to keep it steady while working. Mark the edge of your door at the desired height of your door lever or knob. This is generally around waist height or in the centre of the lock rail for a panel door. It is a good idea to match the height of other door furniture in the room. Line up the centre of the spindle hole with the mark on the door face, ensuring that the edge of the template is aligned with the edge of the door. Then affix with tape. Now fold the template around the door edge and align the vertical centre mark on the template with the centre of the door edge. Affix with tape. With a 2mm drill bit, mark all of the drill marks and elements of the template, making sure to push the drill bit right through the face of the door to the other side. You can now remove the template. Select an 18mm spade bit, which should be slightly wider than the lock body to ensure a comfortable fit within the door cavity. Attach the face plate to the lock body. To ensure the correct mortise depth, line the drill bit up against the lock body and mark the depth on the shaft with a pencil. Wrap a piece of tape around the drill bit in line with the pencil mark. Continue to drill overlapping holes as indicated on the template, making sure to drill to the depth of the tape on the drill bit. Chisel out between the holes and tidy up the edges to achieve a neat rectangular cavity. Now check if the lock fits. If required, make minor adjustments until the lock fits. Now mark the edges of the faceplate by scoring with a Stanley knife. Mark the top and bottom of the faceplate with a pencil. Once the edges are marked, proceed to chisel out the faceplate rebate. Please take caution as this step will be difficult to undo if the rebate is too deep. It is always better to chisel out a shallower rebate and make minor adjustments until the correct depth is reached and the faceplate sits flush. Also, be very careful when chiseling near the door edge, as it is very easy to split the door. Take out small amounts at a time. Now select an 18mm spade bit for the spindle hole. Place the spade bit in your pre-drilled hole and drill one side at a time. Drill approximately halfway through the door. Now drill from the other side of the door to complete the spindle hole. Now continue to drill out the key, privacy or your cylinder hole using a spade or regular drill bit appropriate to the lock type. As with the lock body, you may need to drill multiple overlapping holes to achieve the required shape. Place your lock in the cavity and using the spindle supplied with your door furniture, check that it slides freely through the lock body and is level. Ensure the beveled edge of the latch tongue is facing the door frame or jam. Rotate if required. To rotate the tongue, locate the fixing screws and undo with the screwdriver. You will now be able to rotate the tongue. Finally, 
pre-drill your faceplate screw holes and fix in place with the wood screws by hand using a screwdriver. Your mortise lock has now been installed. Now all you need to do is put your door furniture and strike plate on the door frame. At Tradco, we stock a large range of door levers and knobs to use with your mortise lock. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos including installation of your door furniture.